Hey, thanks for stopping in and checking out our training here on Top Producer 8i, adding a listing into your database. Uh, my name's Travis with www.agentbreakthrough.com, uh, your online resource for systems and models in real estate, uh, and also home of the ebook, The Automated Agent. You can visit there to check that out. Um, today, what I'm going to be covering is how to add a listing into Top Producer. Uh, the reason to add a listing into Top Producer is to be able to manage that uh, process prior to a contract coming in on the property. So I'm going to dive right in, uh, sit back and let me drive a little bit. So I'm going to go right up to the listings tab at the top and I'm just right at the home page here in Top Producer. So if you scroll down you can see add listing. What that's going to do is it's going to bring up a page where we're going to start putting the listing details in. So Listing details could be like an MLS number, uh, you could create a new contact, or from the right hand side there, you can actually um, drop and drag an existing contact in there. So, um, just opening the page here. Okay, so here's a page. Um, if we know the MLS number, so we would just put it in there. And then the neat part about that is when you hit the import MLS data, it would actually fill out all the listing um, information. But since we don't, we're just going to make up a false one anyways. Uh, I'll show you the other way you can do it. So I'll just put in my last name. So I'm going to grab my name and just pull it right into the primary seller. And I'm going to drop it. And now it's going to load that information in there. And I don't actually have my contact information filled out like my address and property type and whatnot. So I'm just going to go in and do that manually. But if that is um, set up in your contact page for that particular contact, it will automatically fill, which is a nice... Um, nice little feature there so I'll just uh, go through here quick okay listing information this is important to be able to have if you're going to be able to track your numbers through top producers so status is active because it's new but once say we were to get an offer on this property we would move it to pending uh, list price we'll just say that uh, 250 and then I'll say 7% commission listing date this is a starting date of the actual property um, it's January 23rd today so you know say I signed the say I signed the contracts yesterday so I just put that in there listing term um, you know, say it's six month, 180 days. You can actually set your expired reminder then. So that's going to expire on 721. Then I can also set the date that in which I want to make sure that I'm reminded to either contact the seller, A, or um, just be ready to relist the property. And now this is probably the better part is being able to. Um, have action plans for your listings. So current listing plan, this is a custom plan that I made with the automated agent, the ebook I mentioned earlier. What it is is it's actually very detailed instructions as far as everything involved with a listing. The more details the better. So I'm going to go ahead and hit add listing. And now what this is doing is attaching that listing to my contact type right here. <clears throat> so if I ever go back into the contact page, I'll always be able to pull up that listing from there as well. Okay, so this is from our listing page. If you wanted to see listing summary, this is where you would find it. Um, if I click on it, it's going to open up the page where I can do any edits or view any of the details on it. And I'll just give you kind of a, a glimpse as far as what the activities are involved. Um, 
so you can get a better idea. So since it was just assigned, there's going to be a ton of listing activities in here because I always think the more detailed you are, the less stuff falls through your cracks. So anyways, this is a list. Um, if you ever wanted to come back to this, you can always click down here and hit completed to see which ones are done. But again, this is just a way to kind of get a feel for what's going on here. And once that action plan is assigned, this is the part that really saves people a lot of time and, and energy, is um, all those activities are then put into your um, home page with daily reminders on when they're supposed to be done. So if I go back to my home page, now I know my activities for today is going to be a lot more because I know I just uh, assigned that action plan there. But now you you can see, you know, what needs to be done. Okay, great. So you can go through fax MLS withhold to the, the board. Okay, done. Did it. Mark it done and forget about it. That way you're not constantly laying in bed at night trying to figure out what you did or did not do for a property. So, again, that's kind of the, the breakdown there. That's going to pretty much uh, show you everything that you need to do for listing a property, what I would suggest is sit down, take some time, write an exhaustive list of everything. The plans that I've created actually include every single piece of paperwork. That way I know if I'm missing something I'm going to see a constant rem reminder for that to get that paperwork. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you list more homes and get them to that sale part. Um, and I hope you enjoyed uh, spending a little time here. If you have any other questions, you can always get a hold of me via email at travis at agentbreakthrough.com. Or if you want to just check out a little bit more about uh, some more tutorials that I've got or any more information about my ebook, The Automated Agent, you can go to www.agentbreakthrough.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.